Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Joe Cranin. Today I want to talk about two of the most common treatment methods for sleep apnea, CPAP and BiPAP. These terms are often used interchangeably, and to be fair, CPAP and BiPAP more or less perform the same function, just with slightly different mechanisms. Let's break down CPAP and BiPAP to help you learn more about both therapies. CPAP stands for continuous positive airway pressure. BPAP stands for bi-level positive airway pressure. What does that mean? CPAP essentially uses pressure, same pressure when you breathe in as when you breathe out, continuous, to splint your airway open. It does one thing, does it well. BPAP uses two different pressures, one when you breathe in and a lower pressure when you breathe out. It tends to do it more comfortably than CPAP, and it also improves ventilation, which can increase the amount of oxygen getting into your system and decrease the amount of carbon dioxide that may have built up in your system. Most patients with garden variety obstructive sleep apnea will do fine with CPAP. That's the standard treatment that's used. However, there are some instances where a BPAP machine might be indicated. One reason would be if someone failed CPAP. So a common reason people fail CPAP is pressure intolerance. They have bad sleep apnea, are very heavy, and are needing higher pressures. So remember with CPAP, it's continuous pressure. Same pressure when you breathe in as when you breathe out. But as that pressure builds up, it's harder and harder to breathe out. It feels like you're breathing into a brick wall. The BPAP senses when you switch from breathing in to breathing out and immediately drops the pressure a whole lot. So it's more comfortable and tolerable for some people who need higher pressures. The other issue is if there are underlying cardiopulmonary problems that result in chronically low oxygen levels or chronically high carbon dioxide levels in the bloodstream, the BPAP can fix that as well. Which is better, CPAP or BPAP? It really all depends. Most people will do just fine with CPAP. If you're able to tolerate the CPAP, and use it all night, every night, you wake up and you feel great, hey, go with it. If you're not able to use it all night, you're struggling with the pressure, you have an underlying lung problem, and maybe your oxygen levels aren't completely fixed, then you may be better off with BPAP. Is there any way to quantify whether CPAP or BPAP is better. I always counsel people, BPAP is gonna be more comfortable because it drops the pressure when you exhale. Whether that is materially significant, that's another question. For most people, it's not. But for people who are on very high pressures or who have underlying lung problems where they have difficulty getting air out, like COPD, asthma, et cetera, it may be very significant. They may do a lot better with it. To learn more, visit sleepapnea.org. Thanks for watching.